Hello and welcome to the channel. I've recommended this watch in a number of my videos and I did some background research on it as well. However, I was still surprised when I unboxed it and saw it closer personal. As a matter of fact, some of my family and friends were quite interested in this watch, much more interested than they were in some of my much more expensive timepieces. So, let's have a closer look what's this $35 watch has got to offer. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then thank you and very warm welcome back. And if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It does help us to bring you more reviews. Usual format today, a brief quick look at this timepiece, specs and first impressions. Of course, positives and negatives for dessert once we have a good look at this elegant yet simple timepiece. Also, naturally, I'll be posting pictures of this, in my opinion, good-looking watch on our Instagram account, so check them out. The link is in the description. Price. This is one of the cheapest watches that I bought for review so far. I paid just under 35 US dollars for this watch on AliExpress. I've got it from official Pagani Design store. As usual, there are either store-specific or AliExpress coupons or discount codes available that could help you to reduce that price even further. But personally, even at the listed price, I think this watch is a very decent value proposition. I lost count of these Pagani Design boxes, but just in case this is your first time unboxing Pagani Design watch, we get a robust fit-for-purpose box, quite useful cloth, especially on a shiny finished watch like this one, the user manual, Pagani Design warranty card that I'm yet to see signed or dated, and of course the watch with a tag attached. Nice. Dimensions. A classic 40 by 20 set of proportions here, that is 40 mm diameter and 20 mm lugs. The height of the case is just under 11 mm, lug tip to lug tip distance is nice and compact at about 46 mm, which makes this watch suitable for a wide range of resizes, from 6 to over 80 inches in circumference. The leather strap tapers slightly towards the clasp, down to 18 mm. The bracelet at full length should cover just over 8 1/4 inch wrist or about 21 cm. On the supplied leather strap, this watch weighs about 48 grams. Nice and light. Dial is one of the highlights of this watch. Yes, this $35 timepiece has more than one highlight up its sleeve. The second one is its movement, of course, and we will talk about it in a moment. Probably will come as no surprise that the dial pays homage to Seiko cocktail time. We have a nice sunburst effect. There is a date subdial at 3 o'clock position, again to some degree mimicking one of the cocktail time presage editions. We have a minute track, a polished applied hour indices, there is no loom, which is generally okay for a dress watch. Nice set of dolphin hands with the minutes and second hand elegantly stretching almost to the edge of the minute track. The dial is quite legible, I like the writing on the dial, looks like some thought even went into the font color. It is not white, but rather shade of grey, making it more at home on this stripy blue dial. It is quite unusual to use the word elegant and Pagani design in the same sentence, but I think I did it a few times in this review already, and all that for 35 bucks. Crystal. We have a nice, slightly double-domed mineral glass here, with a generous amount of anti-reflective coating applied. The double dome crystal gives a nice distortion at sharp viewing angles and also gives the watch that nice finished look and feel. This was the first thing that my friends noticed when I showed them the watch, commenting how airy and elegant this watch looks. Moving on to the case, nice and simple, classic dress watch case shape, mirror finishes all around the case, the watch features a pool side crown, not a screw down one, which is okay for a dress watch. The back case is pressed, not screwed, which is also sufficient for a dress watch. However, Pagani Design declares 100 meters of water resistance, which is with a pressed back case and not threaded crown, I would take with a grain of salt. Maybe okay to wash hands or get under occasional rain, but I don't see this watch suitable for swimming, which 100 meters of water resistance usually implies. By the way, in the specification section of listings on Pagani Design official store, Pagani Design more conservatively specifies three bars, or about 30 meters of water resistance, which makes much more sense. Movement. 
Ok, now we've got to the second highlight of this $35 watch – the movement. We have Japanese Seiko VH65 hybrid mega quartz movement, a combination of quartz accuracy and mechanical drive, which does a pretty decent job at this low price of giving us that nice sweeping motion of the second hand. To achieve that sweeping effect, the second hand moves 4 times per second. To compare the fluency of the movement, here it is next to a more common mainstream quartz movement, which ticks only once per second. The battery in this watch will last up to 2 years. The crown operation is snappy and reassuring, again thanks to a good quality of the Seiko movement. Interestingly, the same as in the most mechanical watches, Seiko advises not to adjust the date when the time on the watch is between 10 pm and 2 am, as the date might not function properly after that. So, if we need to adjust the date, it is best to ensure that the hour hand is at the bottom half of the dial. Bracelet. As we already saw, we have a slightly tapering leather strap. It is genuine leather with Pagani Design branding on it, which is nice. However, I don't think it will win any leather quality awards. Luckily, Pagani Design provides a decent buckle to go with a leather strap. The buckle is of a good quality, signed, and can be easily removed if, or rather when, you decide to change the leather strap. Ok, the good and the bad. I'll be honest, at this price point, it is hard to fold this watch. Ok, the declared water resistance doesn't match the case construction, so with a non-threaded crown and a snapback case, this is not the watch I would swim in. Otherwise, I couldn't find any quality control issues, which is quite surprising taking into account this watch costs only $35 and it is Pagani design after all, which has a habit of randomly surprising us with odd QC issues now and again. I like the look of this watch, the dial make this watch pop, and the Seiko Mecha Quartz movement is a little conversation starter. And the overall look of this watch, dare I say, is not a direct clone of Seiko Cocktail Time. Ok, granted there are quite a few cues, but there is still some Pagani in it, even if it was most likely unintentional. Accidentally original? Well, I will leave a link in the description to AliExpress listings if you want to pick this one up and if you find this review helpful, smash that like button and of course subscribe if you haven't yet done so. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.